The Joy of Disco documentary is a mixed documentary because it includes archive footage, interviews and observations. The themes throughout the documentary were culture, media, music and dance. The narrative structure is single-stranded as it's all about the discos. It is non-linear because it did not happen, all the events didn't happen in order. It's a closed narrative because it concludes the topic and it and all questions are answered. The Joy of Disco documentary is a mixed documentary because it includes archive footage, interviews and observations. The themes throughout the documentaries were culture and the media, music and dance. The narrative structure is single-stranded because it was not only about one topic, which was discos, it is non-linear because the events do not happen in order and it's a um, closed narrative because it tells us about all about discos. Camera work. Conventional interviews were used throughout and the interviewee is either on the left or right hand side of the screen. There's a close up of feet when everyone's dancing, shows how close people get. Medium close ups of the gay pride flags to show it was becoming accepted and promoted through disco. Mise en scène. Bright lights and cigarettes were shown throughout as they were relevant to the theme. Instruments and music venues are used to emphasise the theme. And girls wore very little to interest men. Sound. Narrator is a young male who speaks standard English. This brings the whole documentary together. And with the narrator being a young male, it suits the target audience. There's up to beat music to emphasise the footage showing um, editing, quick cuts to keep the up keep up with the tempo of the music and the footage. Subtle fades were used to make it run smoothly. Archive footage, photographs were used, interviews, um actual fo- footage, music videos, and then graphics. The text used during interviews were bold and white, which made it stand out. It tells the audience what their occupation is and relevance to the documentary. The title was in neon lights, which is relevant to the theme, and the credits were not like normal. It was a picture of a girl wearing not a lot saying love and kisses.